Okay, uh, let's continue with mobilization of nutrients. Okay, after imbibition. Huh? Uh, first impression, you might be wondering, wow, how come imbibition sounds like a very scientific word? It's basically water entering the seed. It's basically water entering the seed. Huh? Okay. Now guys, uh, this one can come out in the form of assay. Huh? This one can come out in the form of assay. Let's see six months. Let's see six months. Huh? All right. Turn away. Turn away. It's for A levels, la. Never mind, never mind. Uh, okay, straight to the point. Uh, the STPM one, uh. Okay, now, uh, guys, mobilization of nutrients after imbibition. First point, first point, uh. Water enters. Tada! This is imbibition, uh. Okay, water enters the embryo. Okay, we call it imbibition. Now, this is used for gibberellin synthesis. Revision. Gibberellin is what? It's a hormone. Remember? Uh, example, both is, is used for bolting, uh, promote elongation of roots, and so on. Uh. So this is the plant hormone. Besides auxin, the next major one you must know is gibberellin. Uh. Okay, so gibberellin will diffuse into what we call the alluron layer. Alluron layer is the layer outside endosperm. Alluron layer is the layer outside endosperm. Now, protein stored will be broken down to amino acids. Okay, protein stored will be broken down to amino acid by gibberellin. Don't forget to uh, mention gibberellin. Uh. And gibberellin also uh, converts amino acids to enzymes. Convert amino acids to enzymes. Uh, example would be amylase that breaks down starch to maltose. And then, uh, yeah, to break down maltose. Uh, Okay, maltose can be also broken down to glucose. Okay. So again, this part. Uh, uh, enzymes produce, enzymes are produced. Example, just one example will do amylase break down starch to maltose. Then maltose can be easily broken down to glucose. Okay. And this one can be used to synthesize gibberellin again. Alright. Okay, so uh, I'll go through one more time, then you read through your notes. Uh. This would be on page... Uh, page 15. The five points there. The five points there. Okay. Okay, uh, one more time. Uh. Okay, we're looking at this mobilization of nutrients after imbibition. If you find you are quite weak in STPM biology, uh, basically the advice from me is always the same. Try to make use of visual more in order to cut down your revision time. Once you cut down your revision time, it means you have more time for other exercises. Uh. And you can do more work. People spend one hour just to read the topic. You can spend maybe just 20 minutes reading the topic. Other time you can use to do pass your question. Okay? Uh, STPM is a is a the biggest enemy is time, basically. Especially with the new system now. Term one, term two, term three. Yeah? Okay. Okay, let's start. First point, imbibition occurs, water taken up by embryo. For gibberellin synthesis, uh, gibberellin will diffuse into alluron layer. Uh, just mention two, two function. Number one, break down protein to amino acids. Then amino acids can be converted to produce enzymes. Enzymes example mal sorry amylase break down starch to maltose. Then maltose to uh, glucose. Okay. If you want to mention maltase, also can, but no problem. Quite simple. Huh? Okay, all this will in turn use to synthesize gibberellin again. Okay? 
Alright, that's all. The revision, how long? One minute. One minute. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, please do your due diligence. Means you go through the process again and then highlight the notes. Huh? Okay, thank you.